welcome to the Red Men TV. Remember, people just beating Sunderland 2-0. That was quite uh, a clunker that I'd have liked it to be, in all honesty. Um, I got me Pro Evo predictor spot on, though, so there you go. Um, yeah, Diva Karigi pulling us out there. Uh, <laughs> pulling the fat out the fight, he was amazing. Yeah, brilliant, great finish. We were we were battering on the uh, on the bus doors, <laughs> and it wasn't going in. The balls flashing across the box, left and right. Things being blocked, things going wide, missing chances, blah blah blah. And then Arigi just goes, just just sticks Three it in the box. To a Liverpool, and they are so amazing, good. Thank you, thank you. They are so amazing, good, uh, and you know, and he sticks it in the bottom corner and wheels away, and and rightfully gets the uh, gets the plaudits because Liverpool are under pressure in that game, um, a different kind of pressure. We we all like the buzzwords for this season is ticking boxes along the way. There was a point in that game, probably with around 25 minutes to go, a bit longer, and we're looking at it going. This could be one of those days. Well, you know what? Those days, maybe they'll come back again, but th th those days don't seem to be a thing under Jürgen Klopp. You know, he turns round to the main stand and he's whipping them up, he's getting them cheering. The copper gets the feet. They start cheering and singing and roaring. I mean, you know, the fans and the players decided, no, we're not, we're not. We're not standing for this. We're not standing for David Moyes and his bullshit football tactics. We're going to go and win this game. And you know what we did? And ultimately, 2 nils kind of... And I reckon he'll be, he'll be defo Moyes. And you know what? Couldn't give a shit. Couldn't give a shit. Because they've got what they deserve there, ultimately. 2 nil probably flatters a touch uh, because we didn't do enough in front of goal at the end of the day. We didn't test their goalkeeper enough. But for how many little headers the flicked or just didn't quite, just didn't quite go right, I thought we did everything right apart from score five goals um so pleasing i uh, for me that's the kind of that i think if liverpool end up in a title challenge we'll look back on matches like this and say they that was when, when we turned a point into three points that's the kind of three points the people who go on and win premier league titles that's the kind of three points they pick up today because liverpool in the past wouldn't have done that and i was absolutely over the moon with the way we just stuck at it and we said no we're taking three points here this is anfield we don't stand for that uh, so all the credit to the boys great to see ben wood ben come off the bench as well david carigi really um putting a marker down if he's gonna to have to if daniel Sturridge is injured don't know what's happened to phil coutinho we really struggled uh, at times to, to, to settle down without him on the pitch but second half wave after wave after wave for firmino was great Mane had some really dodgy moments but grew into the game Arigi absolutely fantastic and Milner he's just sensational at penalties and I'll have that all day long let us know your thoughts on the match in the comments below if you want to check out more from me you can it's called Mates TV youtube.com forward slash c forward slash Mates TV click my face in the corner of the screen and be taken there and subscribe ta